Hello, welcome, Cavature. In War of the Visions, let's do a tier list ranking of the MR and lower rarity vision cards with the universal buffs. And this is my first time uh, making a list of uh, these cards, uh, but kind of two reasons, two recent reasons why I wanted to have another look at these. One is, of course, for the uh, sub-vision card slots. Uh, it just means that uh, we're going to have more chances to use more cards, and especially for folks that don't have a lot of uh, UR vision cards uh, built up. Uh, these can be nice uh, placeholders in the meantime. And then the other reason is my recent interest in uh, limited class matches, where the cost of your party uh, can be limited, and a great way to save cost uh, is in vision cards, and maybe it can free up more points so you can use more characters that you want. But yeah, as we shall see, looking at the uh, the vision cards, the lower rarity vision cards, uh, they still have pretty nice benefits, so yeah. Let's have a look. And in this video I'm going to do with all of them out uh, to start out with, uh, because I don't have the confidence to maybe remember where all these go. <laughs> uh, but let's start at the top. Uh, first, we have the, uh, the two uh, gain JP up cards. These are here, of course, because they are great in a, from a niche point of view for using for farming to get more JP. Uh, but they also have the uh, attack up 30% and the magic up 30% up, uh, respectively. When you're putting your team together and you have all of the, uh, the buffs in there, actually you can you know, have very nice setups and then not have the attack or magic uh, buff up like if you're not using a Freet or a Ramu or whatever. So actually in battle, in like true battle, these could be helpful cards as well. And then uh, same thing goes for the, uh, the next two cards here, uh, Magic Up and then Attack Up respectively. Uh, casting Time Down on this, which is very nice. And I guess here I can say that uh, this Tear Maker uh, doesn't have the, uh, the cards of the SR rarity. Uh, but there's only two that I wanted to talk about anyway, uh, one of which is the uh, Veneta card, which will lower the casting time. I like that one. And then as a uh, subvision card, there's no lowering of the stat of the, uh, the casting time down, so that's a nice one to use as a subvision card. And then there's the, uh, the Vow of Love vision card. Attack up, but probably most importantly, uh, hate up. As a subvision card, it will only give you the two instead of the uh, the five hate up, but that might still be good enough for a uh, an attack. Might be good enough to draw people from across the map in an auto battle situation. All right, next we got uh, Kiton here. Uh, that will give you slash attack up, uh, but maybe more importantly, uh, agility up as a uh, bestowed ability. All of the other uh, type attacks I put down here in good. So here we got Slash, Projectile, Strike, and Pierce. Uh, but the Kiton card is heads and shoulders above for the, uh, for the agility. Next, Iron Giant for the Slash Resistance. Lots of those attacks out there. Uh, same for Tonberry, Magic Resistance up. And then here we have these kind of two weird cards which you can uh, exchange for from the Mog Shop. I was initially going to put them in a, a specific tier but uh, the, here, the Apple card, this will give you gained AP up. Uh, that is terrific as a sub-vision card because it won't take as much of a hit to the, uh, the bonus buff. And then here, this is, what is it, slash attack up, but maybe more importantly, uh, magic resistance up as a personal ability. That's very, very rare, so even just for that, it could be worth using on anybody. And then we got uh, Bloody Moon, and then uh, these guys here. Uh, let's see, AoE resistance and then single target resistance respectively, so those are pretty powerful these days. That would be a nice uh, pair to use, actually. And then we have the uh, Chocobo card, which will give you agility up. Excellent, excellent card. I would actually use this sometimes, even before uh, subvision cards became a thing. And then we got uh, top specific. These are good for specific uh, units or specific teams. Here we have a luck card, might be good for uh, evade teams, gives you some nice HP as well. Here's a projectile resistance plus more luck as a personal ability. Here is a uh, personal ability, the attack resistance is up. This is very key uh, to uh, getting Sasayaki up there. <laughs> then we have a bunch of uh, elemental attack, uh, ice attack, fire attack, wind attack, light, and dark. 
Those are good, of course, for the uh, respective element teams. Here's the uh, Mind Flare. It can raise your max damage. So if you're in a situation where like, you're chaining or you want to go for max damage and you don't have the uh, Two-Headed Dragon max, you can use the, uh, the Mind Flare. And then we have two R cards. These are really the only two R cards worth talking about, I think. Uh, but here, this is the, uh, what was that, the Crystal Church. This will raise your accuracy, both in the party ability and the personal ability, so that's pretty good. And then we have uh, Leona's Castle, personal ability to raise uh, defense and spirit, 15. I don't know how this got through the uh, testing phase, but excellent card for tanks. And I use this a lot, I know some other people use this a lot, even today, now in JP. But much better as a main vision card than a sub. It takes a big hit to the buff as a sub vision card. I actually don't think it's worth using as a sub vision card at all. Okay, down to good all, we have these uh, attack types up, and then we have HP up here. These are not amazing. Then we have the good specific cards. We have a couple here to raise critical. Let's see, this one here will raise the critical damage and then the critical rate. If you need it, there's kind of no better cards in MR, but how often do you need them, really? <laughs> and then here, this is a flat evade card with the higher stats because of EX jobs. A uh, percentage luck buff is better than a flat evade buff, but could be better than nothing. And then we have some uh, elemental stuff here. Uh, what is this? Ice Slayer, Ice Resistance, Dark Resistance. The two resistance cards are interesting because it's very hard to build up your elemental resistance. There are not a lot of elements where you can do that, but yeah, pretty niche. And then we got a uh, Pierce resistance up on uh, Behemoth. Okay, then we got the uh, niche cards. Uh, the holiday cards. These are generally not very good. <laughs> This one gives you the Aquan Slayer, which could be good against the uh, Puddings in Raids. But yeah, generally the uh, Collaboration Lower Rarity Vision cards are better than the Holiday ones. And then a bunch of uh, other R and then uh, N type Vision cards. Some of these have some status resistance, but like in a uh, limited cost uh, guild battle or class match, I would rather just leave a slot empty rather than use one of these cards and then maybe uh, downgrade another vision card that I'm using. And then there's one last uh, SR card that I want to talk about, that is Ogre. Uh, that has Petrify resistance. That might be good for uh, PvE. I remember there was one uh, EX floor of the, uh, the tower where that card uh, was pretty handy in me uh, getting that clear. So yeah, I like that one too. All right, that was the uh, tier list ranking of the lower rarity vision cards. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.